Hi friends, it's Miss Brittany again. We just got done reading two books about zoo animals. So I've got six crafts I wanna show you that you can do at home. So our first craft we have over here is called the Paper Plate Lion. So you get a paper plate and I just cut out the circle out of here in the middle. And then I got some orange, yellow, and brown construction paper. And I made a pattern with my paper. So we've got orange, yellow, brown, orange, yellow, brown, orange, yellow, brown. And you just keep going all the way around the mask until you've completed it all. So I'm gonna finish doing our pattern here. So we've got orange. So if I go backwards, we need a brown. Then we need, next to that is a yellow. And then we need an orange. My glue is drying up. Then we need, geez. Okay, so then we've got brown again. This is a very good project to teach your kids about patterns. Next, we need yellow. So I'm gonna get my yellow. Then next to yellow is orange again. Then we need brown. And I'm gonna show one more in there to complete my pattern. So I need a yellow. Okay, so then I've glued a popsicle stick down here. But one cool thing that you can do with this is, you can curl the edges up to make it look like the mane of the lion. So what that would look like is, you take your scissors and parents might need to help with this, or you can leave them like that. But see how they curl up on the edges? So it looks really cool. And you can do that the whole way around. And then you can put your face in there. So that is the paper plate lion mask. Then my next craft over here is the fork lion. So this one, you just get a yellow construction paper and I traced a circle out of a cup at my house. And then I got some orange paint over here on this plate. And I got me a plastic fork. And you just dip it in here very lightly and then you just kind of go and you make lines all around the lion's face. You can drag it down a little bit and you just keep going all the way around. And then you can put googly eyes on there if you have some. I just drew my eyes on, but it doesn't matter what you do. You can do this on white paper if you don't have construction paper and you can do yellow and orange paint around it. So then there is your fork lion. And then another idea you can do is with pom-poms and my little 18 month class love to paint with pom-poms. So I got a clothespin and some pom-poms. And then again, with the orange and the yellow paint, you can dip it in the orange paint and just kind of dab it around. These will be like the main. So here's my yellow. And this is really easy for the 18 month class and the older kids love to do these too because it's just so fun to put little dots all over the paper and their hands don't get dirty. So that, that's one thing you can do. And then you can make a zebra puppet. So I got a white lunch sack. You can do brown and paint it white or you can just put black stripes on it even if you don't wanna paint it. Um, so I painted some black stripes all the way across. And then again, with the googly eyes, I had those, so I used them, but you can also draw them on. Then with construction paper, I cut out a little face so I'm gonna go ahead and glue on his little mouth and nose. And that's gonna go, here's the flap open. 
So you just put it right on top of the flap. Now I got some chalk, because I have some, and I just drew a little snout and face on there. Then with the black construction paper, I cut out a little piece and put some slits in it. So that's gonna be for his hair. I'm gonna glue that on top, on the back of it. So just right here in the middle. And then again, some ears. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just some little ears for the top. On the back as well. And then when you turn it over, you've got a little zebra puppet and you can put your hand in there and then his face. So that's pretty fun. Then you can do a little puppet show. Okay, now over here, I've got the marble zebra paint. So what we do is I got a box from, you know, I got in the mail. So I got some marbles in here with some black paint. Now what you do is you just drop the marbles into the box. And I have a zebra cut out. Um, if you don't have one, the alternative is you can make the puppet or just kind of eyeball it, print one off of line. That's where I got this from. So you drop the marbles in and in the 18 month class, they love this because they just start shaking it around. So you just shake the box all around, try to get the marbles on top of the zebra. So that way it can like make the stripes on them. Oop, there went my marble. But then when it dries, he'll have stripes all over him. So that's a fun one for the little guys. Okay, and then my marble went all the way over here. So then I got this paper plate and I left it where you could see how I cut it. So this is just a paper plate and then you're gonna cut off about this much on the top and the same amount on the bottom. And then what you do is after you paint it, you're gonna take your scissors and just on one of these pieces, you just trim it down so it's not so thick. And this is gonna be the trunk. So these are actually gonna be trash. So again, I this one I made pink, so it'll be the girl and I put a little bow in her hair. And here is the trunk. So you just put some glue on it and you put it on right there. You can leave it like this or you can put um, a popsicle stick underneath it. Here's the boy one I made. So then you've got the boy and the girl elephants. So these are all fun ways to teach your kids about the sounds that the animals make and all the fun things you see at the zoo. I hope you have fun with these crafts. Thank you.